Hey, good morning. Pete, North Las Vegas. Uh, I'm taking a deep dive into my AR-308 build. Um, I had some issues during uh, range testing to where this rifle would, um, would fire the federal stuff to 308 Winchester commercial. Uh, the rifle functioned, uh, Perfectly, it held back on the last round. Uh, did everything, did everything right. However, using my uh, surplus 762 by 51, and you can see the date code on there. It's old stuff. It's 40 plus years old. Um, the rifle would function with one exception. It would not hold back on the last round. It wouldn't hold the bolt back. So, using the NATO, which is normally uh, a little bit more underpowered than commercial 308 to begin with. And this stuff being a little bit older, I think may be contributing. But I ran into uh, some information that I, I wanted to share that I think might be interesting. And um, so let's talk a little bit more about the rifle. I'm using a rifle speed uh, adjustable gas block. And... Probably not necessary because I'm not running a can, but I thought that if I had some hot ammo, I could I could tone it down a little bit and just run it full open on the uh, lower powered stuff. Um, but what I found out was it may not be the barrel, which is a Wilson Combat 18 inch. It may not be the gas port size. It may not be that the adjustable gas block, maybe even on the full open position, full gas position, uh, may or may not be siphoning off a little bit of gas. But what I discovered was that because this is an adjustable gas block, um, it uses a straight um, gas tube, and I don't know if you can see it in there, maybe get a little bit more light, but the gas tube inside is a straight because this is an adjustable. And um, what I discovered was that the gas tube, um, all the pictures and documentation, everything that I've come across says that that gas tube should end up about in the middle of the uh, cam pin cutout on the receiver, this area here. So that gas tube should be right about here if it's the correct length for uh, AR-10 spec. And let me get my light back in here. So we're close to the, the bottom row of numbers is millimeter. And uh, the top row is uh, 64. So we're about three eighths of an inch away from being in the center. And I've already checked my uh, bolt carrier gas key relationship and I can easily I can easily go another half inch on the gas tube length. So I was looking at White Oak Armament and they do not sell uh, a 15.5 or a 15.4 straight gas tube off the shelf. So I'm going to have to custom order a gas tube to uh, get the gas tube where I think it belongs. And he also gave me the uh, exact specs, the Armalite specs for gas tubes. And uh, most manufacturers on RM15, R AR15 will give you 15.125. And on AR10s, um, they're calling it 15.5, but he said the exact dimension is 15.4. And that's the weight of the Wilson Combat BCG and the Aero Precision Buffer that I initially installed. I have since put an Odin Works in and put weights in at 3.45 ounces. But I got to thinking that's that's getting pretty light on the buffer. And that's when I started, you know, looking at other things besides buffer weights and springs and gas ports and, and that kind of stuff. So anyway, uh what I'm gonna do is I'm trying I was trying to figure out a way to measure this um gas tube without taking the rifle apart because they want you to come in at the middle of the uh, the gas port and go back to the end of the extension and then add 1.610 to get the uh, 
to get the uh, the proper gas tube length. Length, always mispronounce that. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at right now. And I'm convinced that this gas tube length may be what's causing some of the uh, the issues I'm having with the lower powered NATO. The bolt carrier group isn't quite getting enough uh, uh, gas because of uh, not enough engagement with the gas tube. And then I'll uh, share one other thing that uh, the guy that I talked to at White Oak, he was uh, he was a pretty funny guy. I, I enjoyed talking to him and, and he took his time with me. We we walked through a lot of this and he basically said that if your gas tube is about a hundred thousandths or one tenth of an inch too short, he says generally in their experience, they don't see any real negative function or performance issues. He said, but when you start getting up above that, he says, especially up around two tenths of an inch or two hundred thousandths, he says, then they start to see some uh, function issues. So we are beyond two tenths of an inch here. So like I was saying, I, I think that we may be having some issues with this rifle because the gas tube is not not the correct length. Anyway, one of the funny things he, he told me, uh, he said, yeah, he says, you know, we talked to quite a few people and he says the general consensus is that uh, once you build your first AR-308, for most people, that's their first and last 308 build. And I just started laughing. I said, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to learn that there's there's no standardization on these things. And these manufacturers, uh, they take a lot of liberties with uh, with dimensions because there's no mill spec. So anyway, uh, try not to make this video too long, and but still try to explain what I think is contributing to this rifle not working well on the uh, lower-powered NATO. All right. Well, Pete, North Las Vegas, over and out. All right, I'm back. Bonus clip. Uh, I don't think I explained very well in the first video clip on how I was going to... Uh, determine what size gas tube I think I need. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this cleaning rod down the barrel and um, I'm going to line the end of the gas tube porthole up with the end of the cleaning rod and then I'm going to come back and mark it right at the uh, the end of the extension. And that's that's the dimension that White Oak Armament wants for the uh, the custom gas tube. And then how I'm going to make sure that this is actually lined up with the gas tube is I'm going to be using my uh, bore scope. And it may not be like a super precise method, but it will at least let me know um, what's what's actually installed right now versus what I'm going to need. And it'll be close enough. So anyway, I don't know if I explained that very well in the first clip. but So Pete North Las Vegas over and out for real this time.